frenetic tension laden action that's what we expect when manchester united host liverpool who's going to come out on top in this one <laughs> here is how manchester united are lining up number 29 aaron wan -Bissaka. number five Harry it's live next McGuire. on ea tv Welcome to Old Trafford for one of the definitive games in English football. I'm talking, of course, about Manchester United against Liverpool. Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by Stuart Robson. I must say the Stratford end in fine voice already. What a match this promises to be, Stuart. Well, you're absolutely right. Old Trafford is rocking here. The noise is incredible. Let's hope we get a great game to match. This will be a feisty affair, that's for sure. alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And that is defending of the highest order. And this is how Liverpool start the game. Alisson begins in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker out there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And there the move ends for now. Big advantage here. United keep it. But it wasn't much of an advantage in the end. He's retrospectively awarded the free kick. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. as well as brave goalkeeping when he comes off his line at just the right time he read that brilliantly who can he play it to a disappointing end to the move so Bosnoy the referee says play on advantage Liverpool as marker for 10 and the keeper has to deal with it and the challenge holds them in their tracks
attack it, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Stoppage time situation. Two minutes the word. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. The fans are shouting, shoot! Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, he's looked sharp, hasn't he? Yes, he scored a good goal, but his general play has been excellent. I've enjoyed watching him today. Well, into the second half, and an uphill climb for Liverpool after the events of the first 45 minutes. Again, and what a good bit of skill this is from Rashford. And Rashford's finish gives the keeper no chance. He hits it with such venom. So the action underway once more, and it's beginning to look as though it's a case of how many for United. Luis Diaz. Diaz. a chance to break here oh, managing to beat him trying to chip it oh no couldn't beat the goalkeeper really good build up but no end product Tighter. Sloppy in possession. 
possession from United. The referee has let the advantage accrue to Liverpool. Alexander Arnold. Salah. Liverpool corner given. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And he's fired over the corner. Under pressure, that was a fine play. Bruno Fernandes has it. Just waits on the pass, and there it is, a chance. Corner given to United. Making the substitution now. Short corner taken. And making his move inside. Good fine reading of the situation. Now breaking at pace is always a possibility. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. options to try your luck from there well, his teammates aren't particularly happy he was never going to score from there and the referee blows for full time positives for Manchester United three points for them what did you make of it all you're absolutely right Derek their attacking play was excellent full of energy and pace and the midfield completely dominated the game it was a great all-round performance well, a good performance as per usual from Marcus Rashford. How would you sum up his contribution? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.